Hi there, Tim coming in again from another episode of Coffee Geek TV and in this episode I will be reviewing the AeroPress Go. Now I've been a big fan of the AeroPress Go for such a long time, been using it since I've got into specialty coffee and, and one really good thing about the AeroPress Go is that they've had many many iterations of their original model, you'll be able to see that here of all the different ones that they've got. Finally they've come across a more of a travel friendly more portable version, not that it wasn't portable in the first place. But the AeroPress Go is really, really unique in how they've made it compact and easier for you to be able to get around and have coffee on the go. On the go. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below with the bell so you can be updated on more videos like this. I still have the box, which is great, even though I've been using this for a bit over a year now, maybe a little longer actually. And not only does it have, you know, it's a little smaller, uh, one to three cups. You still do espresso, cold brew, takes about a minute if with the older version or the original version, you actually get more in your cup. And what I find is this comes out to about three quarters of a cup, depending on your brewing ratio. So just unboxing the AeroPress Go now, just pulling it open. They do give you a, a good size pack of paper filters, which is uh, 350 of them, as you can see here. That's what comes out first. First impressions when I did open this, Right, is it just comes all compact like this. This is perfect to shove in your suitcase, your backpack, I don't know, wherever you like to put it. For me, I like to ride motorcycles, so I do put them in my motorcycle like so. Also, we have some instructions on how to use it in here as well. It comes in a few different languages, but you know, check out my YouTube videos here as well to be able to actually see how to use this more. Okay, so firstly, taking the lid off here, this, this has this beautiful little silicon silicone silicon lid here to be able to keep it all packed and it seems to fit quite nicely with that and you can actually use it as a stabilizer too by putting it in like that when you're actually brewing your coffee all right so they also come with this little how do you call it storage compartment or storage container so you can put a couple of filters in here for when you're on the go so you don't have to take this whole bulky thing and it keeps them nice and dry so they don't get keep wet and whatnot when it is deciding to clamp down. Now that's a bit of a fail there, just a small one, but maybe minute because you can just stick it inside there and then lock it all down as it comes. Okay, next obviously, taking it out like so. It is very similar to the old version. I think they changed the actual pattern on here. They might have done it in the, in the, in the recent versions as well. But they've gone this uh, more ring style with the actual, the cap for the, for the filter. All right, so, Pulling it apart, it's still a little bit wet from when I washed it last. You can see it has the three cupper, but actually, depending on how you're brewing, if you're doing espresso, but I usually do lighter style roast in this, so my ratio is about 15 to one. So it's one part coffee to 15 parts water, is what I'm usually doing for this one. And generally I use the inversion method like this. So I put all my coffee in here, pour it up, and it also comes with your dosage here, and this little grate little stirrer packs away just nicely. So then I'll be like this when I'm doing my brew and then I'll put my paper filter on, timing it, weighing it, all that sort of thing. And then it comes with this great little cup. So if you don't have a cup on you on the road, it all comes complete in the package. And then what I'll do is I'll go like this, put the little, put the cup on top and then I'll tip over like that. And then I'll be pushing it down like so. That's how I generally do my brews. And then when you're done, Easy to clean, as we all know, for the AeroPress Go, you would be pushing that out and then out comes your coffee puck. All right, and then to put it all away, let's just do that real quick. All right, so like so. Okay, and another quick thing, quick tip with this, is that with this Paul X grinder, it actually, this is a little bit bigger, so you might be able to get bigger sized grinders in here now. So that's one thing to take in consideration when with, with these AeroPress Go. The only thing though is once you put this in, how are you gonna get all that in like that? It's just not going to work. Completely impractical. But, but, you can always keep this to one side. You can get a smaller version. You may even be able to get a smaller version and do that and you just have to keep this somewhere else because this all fits in here like so. All right, so you can go like this, put that down like so, grab this guy, put a couple of filters inside, all right, and then on you go like so and you just sort of massage it. Whoop. Massage it back on like so. All right. And you are ready to AeroPress Go. Excuse the pun. I do love it. I take it 
everywhere I go. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. The only, th only downside is that you don't get a full cup, but hey, make another, right? Who cares? And, um, that's what I would be doing if you wanted more cups anyway. That's my thoughts on the AirPress Go. Definitely highly recommend. Check out the links below on the AirPress Go. I've done a full review on it. Also, there's some product links down there if you would like to check it out a bit more on the places that you can pick one up for yourself. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next.